Konnichiwa users, in this video I will show the methods to make a seamless pattern or texture. First, draw a pattern or texture that users want to tile. Afterward, save the tile to your disk. It can be erased later. After that, create a new canvas and place it next to the single tile canvas. On the new canvas, go to File, Import, Create File Object. Select the file that was saved. On Subtool Detail, enable tiling. Now, every time the tile canvas is saved, the other canvas will auto-update. The tile need to be offset to make it seamless. Users can refer to my previous video on making an offsetting auto-action or do it manually. To offset manually, divide the tile on one axis in the middle. Use box selection, cut and paste it. Afterward, select both divided tiles and divide them along the other axis. Now, there should be four parts of the tile. Move each quadrant to the opposite diagonal direction. For example, top left to bottom right. Repeat for the other quadrant. After being offset, merge all those four layers. The seam should be exposed. Users can patch those seams and save the tile. See the other canvas to see its continuity. It might take multiple offsets and patches to make it seamless, which is why it is recommended to make offset auto actions. Once users are satisfied with the result, users can merge all of the tile parts and put the completed tile to the material assets and enable tiling in the asset setting. The temporary tile save data can now be deleted. Users can now easily drag the finished tile to any canvas to use. I post Clip Studio Paint videos on this channel alongside art tips. Please consider subscribing to the channel so that users will be notified on the next upload. Leave a comment to let me know on what Clip Studio Paint functions to feature next. I thank you for watching.